Hey guys, it's here. The full game, Mute Year Zero, Road to Eden. Am I excited enough? I think I am. I'm going to play on very hard. Now, uh, on very hard, enemies deal much more damage. Stalkers regenerate no health after combat, and skill cooldowns are not reset after combat. Now, I am going to play right from the beginning. I'm going to I'm going to try and blitz through, but but I want to get into the story and the characters and whatever. So we are going to start from the beginning. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again. And Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Ha ha ha! Ducks and Bowman on the road Shut again! The hell up. <laughs> you see annoying? I can show you annoying. Oh, Ducks is just the you. best. We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand times already, Borman. Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skips and Treble. You're close, 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 close. Over there. Come, brother. I'm on that trail. Okay, now there are one or two small changes uh, that I've noticed because I had a little, I had a little practice before I started. So, um, so I get, again, you know, playing from the beginning, I think it's a good idea because we'll see all those differences. Right. So we want to take this butcher down. I don't want to get too close to the uh, to the other marauder. So I just want to get somewhere where I've got a hundred percent. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And silent weapons, the crossbow, which is why I'm using Dick, because he's the only one of the two with a silent weapon Bingo. at the moment. Not Bingo! Okay, that's nice and easy. And then we're going to take this marauder down. Now, obviously, I've played through this, the, like the first five areas, like a couple of times now. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer and make sure it's 100%. So we should be able to move through these um, these first few areas like really quickly. But I'm still going to leave in the, the cut cutscenes. Because you can just skip ahead. Alright, cool. So, Oh, and we get the broiler. Nice. Far south before. What's the... Yeah, let's the leave from the other guy day. as well. Something's up, Borman. Alright, sweet. Now we can investigate. I'm going to do these like investigations and whatever. That's a, that's a. We saw one of these things once, filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. They certainly did. <laughs> We've got big pieces of garbage everywhere. Now, for anyone who's like completely new to the game, when they're uh, when they're talking about the ancients, they're talking about us. We are the ancients, because this is set in the. The far future. Follow me. Where humanity has basically been wiped out and all that's left are mutants. And I can't wait to get more of the kind of lore and stuff about this. We got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. Okay, so this is just teaching us about red skulls, which are mobs which are too high level. So they've just they've just thrown in a couple of tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die. Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Ark don't even love stalkers. <laughs> So they've thrown in a couple of high-level mobs just to kind of teach you about that. But moving through, uh, certainly in the demo, we didn't come across any more um, like mobs that were too difficult to take on. Now, playing on very hard means that we do have to be 
Like, the pretty much here. perfect. Home sweet home. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. The good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Okay. So this is just teaching you about sneaking. And basically, this game is um, is largely about getting... It's very strategic. Hungry. I says we take the ark. Taste the mutants. <laughs> Wait here, mutants. There we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their. Hey, hey. Hear that? Hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. Okay, so yeah, it's all about strategy. It's all about like, like when you come across mobs, figuring out which ones you can you can kill singly and which ones you have to take together. Ooh, our first chest. And it's the Gaper. <laughs> Gas powered cannon. Kind of nice. Uh, I want to give that to. Let's see. Um, that's five and eight. What is the Gaper? Oh, six damage. All right. Yeah, we'll take that. All right. Cool. And you know, I might give the I might give the scatter gun to ducks later. We'll see. Okay, so that means Borman can take down the hunter in one shot. Oh, we've got a nice broken gun here. Oh, we've got a butcher that walks around here. I've forgotten about him. If I just sneak, whoa, too close. You know what, I can just ambush him. Simple kill. Move up nice and close, 100%. It's all about, I, I, I love the way this game works. It's all about your, Positioning, like, like setting up the ambushes, oh, so good. Correctly, and if you do it right, hey, level up. If you do it right, then like everything works out, and it's really easy. Um, the problem is, like when it goes wrong, the game is very, very unforgiving. So we'll stick ducks there. Let's go get uh, Borman. Uh, yeah, let's go and get Borman. So, Borman, you're just going to come over here. Uh, we want you to take out this hunter. So, let's just bring you around here where you've got a nice clean line of fire. Okay, and let's ambush. Okay, activate you. This, again, is really easy because now we've got the Gaper. We can do six damage so we can take the hunter out in one shot. So, just move up close and blow his head off. There's gonna be a lot of blowing people's heads off. It's just sweet. The enemy heard you. Yes, they did. Do we care? No, not really, <laughs> because we've got ducks hiding around the back. Let's get as close as we can and pray. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. So. Of course, I had to open my mouth and, and jinx myself by saying it's all about like proper preparation and making Look, sure you're in the right baby. positions. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. To oh, hold our first hand you. grenade. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be <laughs> Okay, so let's turn the lights on so we move a bit faster. I'm not going to worry. Get over here. I'm not going to worry too much about looking for stuff. I'll come back and have a run around afterwards, like offline, and pick up any uh, scrap and weapons parts and stuff that's lying around. But I'll, uh, have a, I'll have a quick shifty around. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's get to the next area. Broken gun. Oh, weapons parts. We like weapons parts. Twenty weapons parts already. Up in the up in the top right hand corner, we've got eighty three scrap, one artifact, three med kits, and we've got twenty weapons parts. And weapons parts are used to upgrade our weapons. 
Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, AKA a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. I do like the way those cutscenes are done. The, the voice acting in this game, actually the voice acting for, in this game falls into two categories. It's either awesome, like Bormin and Ducks and Selma, or awful, <laughs> like the Elder. And there's like, there's kind of nothing in between. It's either brilliant or awful. Oh, there's the arc elevator. Home sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Okay, spread out. I've, I've, over here. I've played through this like so many times now, and it's still f fun playing through these early levels. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. I think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. That's giving you a good hint because I'll, I'll let you into a let you into a little secret, little spoiler. There are others. So what we'll do uh, now? Ducks can do this on his own. So we'll we'll split up. I'll leave Borman there. We can uh, we can sneak into here. I see there's a marauder wandering around over there. Let's grab that Molotov. We can grab all of this stuff that's in here. There's a note. It's a crying shame. With this debater, Delta would surely have given us the discount she meanted. Uh, she mented, mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within we're within the scrap ruins. Yeah, if we get that and we turn it in, we'll get a discount at, uh, or we can. One of the options is to get a discount at Delta's. And you'll be seeing Delta very, very soon. Let's open up this chest. This is the poker hat. Yep, got it right. All right, let's grab that. And that increases uh, range. We're going to give that to ducks because the crossbow could do with a little bit of extra range, I think. So let's go to our inventory. We will equip the snazzy visor. <laughs> I do like that. And then now let's see. I'm going to get. Uh, I've already given ducks the gaper, haven't I? Um, now I think we'll stick with the the stinger as ducks' alter alternate weapon. Uh, at least for now. The um, it's just a crit damage. See, this does this is four and seven, whereas this one does eight crit damage. We might need that in the future, but for now it's fine. So let's go kill. There's one marauder who's wandering around, kind of randomly. Well, not randomly. Here he is. We can uh, we can take him down. And then there's another one over there. 
So let's get this guy first tied there. And when he comes back, that'll do. Waha! <laughs> Caught you unawares. So, uh, what's the shot from here? Is it 100%? Yeah, it's 100%. Take him down, but Nice and easy. I'm the death dealing, soul stealing, stalking machine, baby. Now, some people may think that this looks really easy. Um, and it is, but it's only really easy because I've already played this like several times and I kind of know where the mobs are and, uh, and know what to do. Once we get past like the sea, t uh, what is it, the sea titans area, it's all going to be new. And at that point, things are going to get very different. And plus, things can, like at any time, things can go wrong. Like now, when I haven't moved close enough, I should have moved close enough to get 100% on this guy. And I haven't, I've only got seven. Oh no, I have got a, I was going to say I should have 100% from there. Um, some of the shots will be 75%. And if I miss a 75%, things could go like really badly, really quickly. Because the... Um, the mobs do a lot of damage when you're playing on very hard. Like serious, serious amounts of damage. So let's let's hide there. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all. Fox is coming. We kill them all. Okay, so um we got one with six hit points, one with four. Easy. Bormin takes out the hunter. So, Bormin, we just need you to get to 100%. That'll do. So you move in. He's been caught by these guys, but it doesn't matter. 100% on the hunter. Boom. So, like, it's... This game is all about, like, positioning um, patience. Uh, and, like, selecting the right skills, the right weapons at the right time. And and if you and what I love about this game is if you do it right, your chances are like 100%. It's not like um, the XCOM where even if you do everything right, your chances are always like 98%, 97%. And you miss so often on those ridiculously high chances that you just you just kind of know that Stone Cold the game's screwing you over because <laughs> there is no way that the random number generator. Oh, ancient psych. 20% added to weapon range. That's new. I think I'm I'm like 99% certain that's new. Is that new? I don't know. I think that's new. I don't think we got an ancient site before. I don't think so. I don't think so. I could be wrong. Right. Come on, Bournemouth. Come on. So again, this is one of those um, areas that I should have a, like a, a really good scavenge around later. But, oh, what have we got over here? Got a chest. I forget what's in this one. Oh, yes, yeah, stalker vest. Waha. Take the item. Uh, for now, I think we'll give that to Dux, because Dux is doing all the, uh, all the dangerous close-up stuff at the moment. So, yeah, you can have that. That gives him an extra hit point as well. Now, D Borman starts with eight. Dux starts with six hit points. So, an extra hit point for... But ducks, pretty good idea. All right, like I said, I'll have a proper full look round later. For now, I think it's time to get up to the Ark so that we can get our mission and progress. So, let's do it. The Elder Meets is at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. 
He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. And here we are in the Ark. Now, I actually went and did a bit more scavenging. And now we're up to 134 scrap, one architect, uh, architect, art <laughs> artifact, uh, three med kits, and 33 gun parts, which is not too bad. We're going to pop into Delta's fix pit. Welcome to the fix pit. No, we don't give a stalker discount. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, so, let's see. Now, this is one of the things that's changed. You now need uh, 30 weapons parts to upgrade to the, like the first upgrade level. It used to be 20 and 40. It's now 30 and I assume 60, which makes a hell of a difference. Um, I'm going to add a damage module to the crossbow to get it up from uh, 5 damage to 6 crit damage. That could make quite a difference. And we could also think about putting that scope on. Let's see, we're 10. That gives us a range of 12. I think that's probably a good idea as well. All right. And I don't think there's anything else that we Take can do here. Uh, for anybody who um, who hasn't seen the game before, there are there are four areas in here. There's Delta Fix Pit, that, Fix Pit. That's where you do your upgrades. There's um, Iridia's shop where you can buy stuff. Go on. Uh, no, we'll we'll come back to that. Uh, there's the Elder who gives you missions and stuff. We won't see him this time because he hasn't got anything for us. And Prip's place where you can trade in your artifacts for extra stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. After a killer day in the zone. You know you can always come to Prips for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Yeah, I comprende. Comprende completely. We are going to go with... I think we're going to go with Mule. Unlock an extra grenade slot. Yeah, let's do that. Yes, please. That that unlocks pyromania. That'll add plus one fire damage to molotovs. But what we really want to get to is this blaster master. Increase grenade damage by four, which doubles it from uh, four damage to eight damage. That would be awesome. Uh, we might even consider getting medic. We'll see how things go. Extra 10% crit chance against mechanical enemies. Oh, so much cool stuff. All right. next time... Now, the mobs are tougher. They have increased the hit points on some of the mobs, as you are going to see. Uh, let's, uh, let's just get back out to the zone and do some more. Okay. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman. <laughs> ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. Okay, so this is Hammond's cabin. And this is not gonna be Good news is easy. we reached Hammond's cabin. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. Okay, so we have got. Chase everything, but there are no secrets. Where are the secrets? The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. I got this. Cover Arm me. It. Okay, we've got a marauder who uh, who wanders around. I'm just going to park Borman over here for a second. And I'm going to take ducks inside. This marauder wanders around. Now you just need to be patient. And this is like this is the biggest part of the game. It's it's having the patience to figure out like who moves, who doesn't move. Like can they be ambushed separately? And if you can, it makes a huge difference. And this guy wanders off over here after a while. So let's take him out. And he's only got four hit points, so it's an easy kill. Boom. Okay, that's Another the easy bit. The now it gets hard. Now, when I did this um, on my hard playthrough of the demo, these guys only had eight hit points. 
which meant that I could actually take them out. Well, I could, yeah, I could, I could one-shot the shaman. Uh, I am not going to be able to do that now. Uh, which is going to make this difficult because we are going to have to make noise. And yeah, it's going to be tricky. So, if we hide you in there, bring ducks over. Ooh, there's a bit of loot. Grab that. And maybe put ducks. He can be flanked there pretty easily. That's the only problem. But, but we're going to try it. Now, we can take down the shaman in one in one round potentially 75 from there you're a 75 from here I don't know how to do this without taking some form of risk oh that gives me a that gives me a hundred from there oh, okay let's pop you there oh and now it's only giving me a no, it's 100. Thank you. All right. Yeah, okay. Let's let's take that. Ooh. Boom. The problem is, Dux is now only behind 25% uh, cover. Borman, let's move you to there. And 75%. And we took him down. Now, this guy... Baby. has a horn on his back which is a loudspeaker and if you don't take him down first round he calls in reinforcements okay so he's gonna overwatch from there we got no line of fire for Borman ducks we switch weapon like a 50% not that great Let's move you down there and overwatch you. Yeah, let's overwatch you. Overwatch. Moving ducks into position to get that first shot was kind of essential, but it leaves him badly exposed is the problem. With a, you know what, 50%, I'm going to take it, I think. Am I going to take it? I think I'm just going to take it. Yeah, take it. Oh, great, and a miss. Okay. What are you going to do? Okay, he's moving around to the back of the building. Oh, and thank God he missed ducks. Okay. Let's, let's get a little bit closer. Move up to there. And overwatch. Yeah. Overwatch. Ducks, I want you in better cover than you've got at the moment. So... Man, that's a sprint to get back there. You know, if I'm going to sprint you, you know what? Yeah, move over there. Now that's going to force him to come to us. And if if he does... Uh, oh, thank God he missed. But now he's actually kind of opened up a little bit. Okay, let's move you to there. And you'll overwatch. Overwatch. Borman, you move to there. What's your shot from there? No chance to hit. Okay, fine. So you'll overwatch. I'm trying, overwatch. trying, trying to just force him to come out of the open. He's um, these hunters do like cover. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. Okay, well that's opened you up. Now the question is, ducks. That gives you 100%. All right, so. Yep, yeah, we've got him. We've got him. You move over there, and. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that kind of worked. Shot him through the wall. 
and then ducks. Yeah, you take him roughly from behind. Boom, bye bye. Serves you right. Woohoo! Managed to get through it without taking any damage. And that, in my book, is a success. Right, so here we go. This is our mission. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Ho 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 I don't disagree with him either. Alright. So now we have to investigate the crash site. Let's turn the torch on. Right, there is some stuff to grab around here. So let's grab that. In particular, weapons parts. And that's what we want. Uh, oh, we've got another note. Uh, zone dog camp. As the seasons pass, I'm, for I'm forced further out into the zone to find even the most basic of objects. From time to time, I stumble across the odd hidden place, even though like even in locations I imagine were already cleaned out by stalkers seasons ago. One such place is to be found due west of the Fallen Machine. The um, the Fallen Machine is that uh, spaceship thing looking pod that had crashed. There appears to be a remains of an ancient camp complete with a transportable hut. The location is home to a pack of zone dogs. We're going to go and kill those zone dogs now. Right. Let's regroup. Regroup. Over here we have a medikit. Nice. We've got a far looker. Artifact. This is Hammond's far looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire because when I looked into it, everything became smaller and more distant. Amazing what the ancients could make. Yeah. Smaller fire. That's what it should be called. Smaller fire. I agree with Dux. I just agree with everything Dux says. I love just. I think Dux is awesome. Uh, I'm just having a quick look around here, but there doesn't seem to be a whole hell of a lot. Oh, did I hear something? Yes, I did. I thought I heard a little snort, and it was this zone dog over here. You know what? Let's take him down. We can just about take him down. It just depends whether there are, there are two zone dogs wandering around here, and it just depends where the other one is. I hope it's not close enough to hear us, because we're not going to be silent. Okay, so crossbow, four and six. Yep. Uh, no, we will need to be a little bit closer. There we go, that'll do. And now this one's silent. Boom. <laughs> yeah. And then Borman, you're going to do the same thing. But you are not silent, so now we'll find out if we're going to alert anything else. I'm Borman, bitch. <laughs> I haven't heard him say that before. I'm Borman, bitch. Uh-oh. Yeah, we've alerted another one. Here it comes. But fortunately, they're not too difficult to deal with. So, uh, let's have ducks. Uh, you can switch to your pistol and still do four. Now, the, the question is, Borman, you'd have to reload that. Oh, okay, that's not so good. So, in that case, what we're gonna do 
is just move back. So Borman, you're going to move back as far as you can. And you're going to reload. Yeah, you reload. Ducks, you move back alongside Borman. Now, the question is, do I put you on Overwatch? Well, you're out of range. Yeah, I'll put you on Overwatch. Overwatch. And <laughs> boom, nice. And he didn't catch us. <laughs> so now, Borman, finish him off. Boom. Bye-bye, doggy. I'm ending this. And end it, you did. Good job, Borman. And we've got to level up. Uh, we, could, we should start using some of these mutations. That would be a good idea. Uh, mutations. Mutations are either major, minor, or passive. And you can have one and only one of each in uh, in your loadout. So, there you go. That's that. Stat bonus is permanent. And your loadout can be changed at any time. So, these are the stats, Borman. He just gets health. Like Each one of these is plus one health. Uh, his, we've got five points. We are going to go for running gun because the running gun is basically awesome. So yes, I love these mutation animations. Sweet. Right, Ducks. Ducks is going to go for Skull Splitter, which gives him 100% uh, crit chance. Boom. Go on, with your glowing eyes. Love it. Right, um, now he gets health boost and movement boost. So it's um, health, movement, health, movement, health. And that movement is increasing his movement by two, which is actually, like, pretty awesome. But I want to save up for moth wings. I do kind of like moth wings. All right. Um, you know what? While I think about it, let's get a grenade equipped. Um, who's going to have it? I think, actually, ducks. Because, because Borman does six damage, grenade does four. So if ducks throws a grenade, does four damage... That allows Borman to finish off like a 10 hit point guy, like in one round. So, yeah, let's do that. All right. Let's Come on. Come on, ducks, keep up. We'll have a quick look around this area. Not exhaustively, but I, I can come back and do that. But this campsite down here usually has some pretty good loot. Oh, hand grenade, hell yeah. That means they can both have a hand grenade now. Woohoo! Hand grenade. Beautiful. That increases our options. Oh. Long gone campsite. It's like hundreds of others it's across the zone. Filled with the ghosts of humans who were foolish enough to try to survive out here. At least, that's what the Elder says. Oh, ten weapons parts. Yeah, that's what we like. And... Scrap over here. There's loads of loot in this area. More we'll scrap. Nothing over there. Yeah, well, I think we've cleaned this corner out at least. So I think we can move on to our next objective. Now, I guess. We should probably go back to the uh, to the Ark and report, but we can go through to the next zone. Um, let's let's just go through. So this is the high road. Never been this deep into the zone before. And the devs have the rock that goes out here. They're everywhere. And the devs have confirmed that this is set in Sweden. So you'll see like Swedish signs and like for example, the um, later on you'll see um, police bots, and it's spelled P O L I S, which is um, which is the, the way it's spelled in Sweden. Apparently, I was watching a I was watching a dev stream. Look alive. We got company. Wait. That's a stalker. One of Hammond's. Yay! Selma! Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? 
You're a mutant like us, on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. And Selmer I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when he wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Oh, you're definitely part of the team. And getting Selma makes like a huge difference because she also has a silenced weapon, the silenced pistol, does four damage, which means that four damage from that and four plus we can always get a guaranteed uh, crit if we use skull splitter means we can take down a 10 hit point mob, right? No problem, silently. So that's pretty massive. I think I'm, I'm going to let Selma lead for a bit. So we'll just have a little bit of a look around here. I mean, I'll come back and, and scavenge these areas properly later. But if stuff's laying around in front of us, I'll pick it up. Okay, so we have got two alternatives. Um, we can go up this ladder over here. Oh, now, got to be careful because the mobs can see you down here. Let's pick up this note. Uh, evacuation guidelines only bring essential items blah 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 blah. see so, Gothenburg yeah I can't pronounce any of that but yeah oh and there goes some kind of flying thing overhead god only knows what that is well um, we'll be coming back and going up that way but right now we're going to take a little bit of a detour um, now I've heard I've heard I've done two two playthroughs uh, and I've heard what Selma says when she finds this hidden path. I've heard what Duck says. What does Borman say? Look at this. Some sort of path through the forest. Hard to notice. Now, I have to say, this is this is one of my favorite bits, the fallen angel. Oh, broken gun. Yeah, mama. Now we've got some marauders and butchers wandering around here that we need to clear out. Oh, is that another? Yes, that's another broken gun. 58 weapons parts. Sweet. We get one more. Ah, zone dog. Well, now let's see. Where are you? Where are you, Mr. Zone dog? Because we can take wow. you down. You can have one hell of a flea market with this junk. Look at these weird machines. Where do you think they come from? Oh, here he comes. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not so nice. Okay, so what we can do, let's park Borman over here, out of the way. And then... Now, where the hell are these two dogs? We need to, uh, we need to split them up a little bit. Take the first down silently, and then we can just kill the second one, no problem. So we just need to wait for them to split up a bit, which looks like they're doing now. So as long as we can catch this dog kind of sort of out in the open, we should be fine. And you know what? I think this will do... That'll do there. Okay, so, Selma, you're going to go first. Yeah, you wander up there. And... In your own time. And boom. Good job. <laughs> Wash your mouth out, Selma. 
you're 75 from there, 75. Why are you 75? Okay, that's like... Okay, you're 100 from there. Okay, fine. Thank God for that. So you're going to walk over there. And then... Skull Splitter. Skull Splitter drops our chance to hit by 25%, but it's a guaranteed crit. So, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Mutation cooldown. Some mutations lock once used and require a set of uh, a set number of enemy kills to unlock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Don't nicely done. Sweet. Alrighty. And we get a level up. And having taken him down. Uh, Come on. Okay. It's now easy to take this dog down. So let's see. We want a nice 100% chance. There we go. Don't need Skull Splitter in this circumstance. So, shot, boom. Bingo. Good job. And in fact, Borman can finish this off. That's 100%. And finish him off. Boom. Didn't even need Selma. Good job. Only done. Alright, sweet. Let's turn the torch on so we can actually move around a bit faster. Oh, there's a bit of loot up there. I always I always forget. Elder Almighty, I've seen loot. some crazy shit in the zone, but this takes the bullet. This house must have belonged to some small people. I mean small, small. That is just the weirdest. <laughs> he's talking about I think he's talking about this playhouse. Alright, let's go there. I know there's some loot over here somewhere yeah it's just a bit of, just a bit of common scrap we still need some more weapons parts so we can get the second upgrade that's going to allow us if, if we can get up to 60 weapons parts that's going to allow us to upgrade both of the silent weapons and that'll make a big deal I just mixed my metaphors right? that'll be That'll be a big deal, or that'll make a big difference. Was, you know, yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. Oh, the, the Arista hat. Plus 20 critical chance from high ground. Awesome. Grab that. That is going to be, until until ducks get some um, duck wings. Hey, over here. That is going to be for Selma, I think. Am I going to be? Yeah, I think we'll put you. You're going to have that for now. All right, cool. Okay, so where on earth are we going now? We came, we came across that bridge, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, we've taken out the zone dogs. Um, let's see. So I guess it's got to be in this direction. I always forget. Oh, bit of common scrap. Nice. Is there anything else in there? Didn't get. No, nope, no, nope, I think that's it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think. Okay, and this is the Fallen Angel. And I think that's probably a good place to leave it for this first episode. So, um, so yeah, we've made some decent progress. Hopefully, in the next episode, we can get through the, uh, through Fallen Angel and the Cave of Fear and the Sea Titans. And then it's going to be all new territory. But I tell you what, Cave of Fear, Sea Titans, it's going to be tougher. It's going to be much tougher. All right, guys, I will catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Can't wait to see your comments. Peace out.